It's another Friday, week nine, so we are getting closer and closer to determining who's going to win these conferences, who's going to go to what bowl game, who's going to win their rivalry game at the end of the year, and who's going to go to the playoffs. Basically, what I'm telling you is there's a lot of interesting stuff to talk about in the college football world, and you know I love to talk about it. Comedian Funny Man, I'm a fan, not an analyst. Fanalist is on right now. Turn it up. Arkansas doesn't have to worry about LSU for a few weeks, but they do have to worry about Auburn tomorrow, an uh, Auburn team that's playing with nothing to lose, and they're going to Jordan Harris, so hopefully they won't have another controversial ending like they did in 2020. There's a lot going on with Jimbo Fisher. None of it seems to be good for the university, but pretty good for him because if they were to fire him at any time before December 31st, 2023, they would owe him about $86 million. Well, Penn State is playing some good ball and they're at home, so that gives them uh, a good chance. But they also got blasted by Michigan a few weeks ago, and I believe Ohio State is better than Michigan. This one might get ugly. Ohio State for the win. Well, I like to give teams credit where credit is due. They only got that one blemish to Indiana on their record. They're playing pretty good ball. Uh, but let's see, for real, for Illinois, it would be nine, maybe ten win season. So, yeah. By their standard, they're for real. Ole Miss has already got one loss handed to them by LSU, but they still got Bama, uh, Mississippi State, of course, Arkansas, and Texas A&M on the schedule. So I'm going to say they'll probably end up with three losses, not two. Well, Georgia, the reigning national champions, haven't gotten a lot of love or attention this year because of that schedule that they play, and I don't think tomorrow – uh, will be any different playing a three loss Florida. I think Georgia will win, but underwhelming. Well, I think it's all about the quarterbacks right now. You got Hendon Hooker at Tennessee. You got uh, CJ Stroud at Ohio State. Of course, Bryce Young at Alabama. And uh, Caleb Williams at USC. A lot of people not talking about the fact that Southern is on a four-game win streak. We know Jackson State is stacked, and the game is in Jackson. Boom, box classic. I got to go Jackson State with this one, but I'm taking Southern University band, though. A few games on the schedule caught my eye, but I'm looking at Syracuse. How are they going to respond to getting that loss, their first loss, uh, a close loss versus Clemson last week, and now Notre Dame is coming into town. Give me Notre Dame for the upset in this one. Not sure if you guys ever been to Jackson State University campus, but listen, the plaza, hot spots, the sonic boom, you got the human jukebox coming to town, the boom box classic, it's going to be rocking. Cannot believe we are already almost to the end of another college football regular season. Feels like we just kicked off, but you know I love to talk about it, and if you want to get your questions in, follow me on Instagram at FunnyMain. We do this every Friday. Can't do it without you. So, yeah, get those questions in. I love to answer them. Comedian Funny Man, I'm a fan, not an analyst. Fanalist, let's do it again next Friday.